Funny story. So, last weekend I was doing a Q&A out on the patio, and as you guys know, I dropped my phone. Bet you guys didn't even know this existed, right? This is a screen protector. I had screen protector insurance. So if I get a crack in this, I can take it in and they can give me a new screen protector. Obviously the phone that broke, totally KIA. Doesn't work anymore, I've had to get another one this one. I bought it the other day. So I took this in, I said, look, I've got this insurance. Can I get a screen protector on this phone? They said, yeah, but you need the old screen protector. I went outside and I found it. Um... Saturday today, guys. Motivation. Let's kill it. Before we start today's vlog, quick meal with the with, with the family. I've had to drive separately today because Maria wanted to come with us. So quick meal, quick meal with the family. Oh, there goes my keys. Can I have a picture? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Right, I need to eat my food. So, what's the game called again? Crash Bandicoot. But what is the name of the game? M Sane Trilogy Crash Bandicoot. That's the one. That is the one that came out when? Like this year. So Maria and I have come to a conclusion that I want to try and involve her a little bit more in what I do on this online thing, right? She's quite shy. She's over there looking at Card Factory. Say hi. Hi. And these vlogs, this is like my thing. This is like me and you guys having a chat and that is that, right? And I know it's like involving my daily life, but I don't see this as an actual an actual mainstream vlog like where I do my whole day. So what Maria said was she wants to try and be in some streams. So I said, will you choose the game? She said Crash Bandicoot. It's on PlayStation 4. We've come to pick it up, but... What happened? It closed. It closed. You look really sad. <laughs> so we either give up or we go on a mission to try and find Crash Bandicoot. What do you say? Mission or give up? Mission? Mission it is. You're going the totally wrong way. What are you looking at? Giant lemon. Giant lemon. Giant lemon. This is the one problem shopping with women. Women, you don't go in and just come out with what you want. You have to look at everything, like towels and everything, before you actually get what you want. Oh, babe, can we get this? Contradicting myself. Right here we are. This is it. No luck. Game. We messed up. That wasn't our fault. It was closed. We went to Asda. Still nothing. Got told off for filming. The woman came up and was like, are you filming? I was like, nope, no, nope, it's not filming. And then I stopped and my camera was like, diddle dee. That's the noise that it makes when it starts filming. It's really unprofessional. Still gonna keep trying, yeah? Yeah. I literally don't know where to go next. <gasps> where did I go when I got Jacob FIFA? Have you walked past it? This is it, third stop. Right, here we go, this is it. Wait a minute. Right there it says Crash Bandicoot, it's got like a massive thing. Is it like the last one? Yeah. It says it's out of stock. What if it's like a demo box? It literally says out of stock. This right. is the thing, I asked my friend who absolutely loves Crash Bandicoot and I saw him tweeting about it, I was like, dude, can you get this game for us? And he was like, it's ridiculously hard to get, it's massive demand. Didn't even realize, she's the one that wants to play it. Like, I'm not a massive Crash Bandicoot fan, I've never even played in my life. Sorry, temporary out of stock. Crash Bandicoot, but we have it. Guys, it was such a big deal. I've got a big poster of it. Did you know it was this big, or did you just like no. the game? No, I just played it when I was younger. Show the people of the interwebs what we managed to get. Oh, yeah. So it was actually like a demo model, and they put the disc in it when we got there, and they said it was the last copy in the whole shop. They said they've sold 15 of them today. So I don't know if that's a massive demand for games or not. It's a PS4 title, so it's a you know, next-gen title. But we have it. It's here. Let's do this. Mission successful. I don't know why you're on the stove because it makes 
makes you more taller than me. More taller. More taller. Sorry, sorry pause because I'm like, well, no. You good, bro? <laughs> Are you putting headphones on? Just, why just put the headphones why on. can't we just hear it through the speakers? Just put headphones on and hold that. Are you trying to make a thumbnail? No. <laughs> I'm Alex Brooks, but we need to make you a new, a new account. So create a user. Accept. Who's that? It's Crash Bandicoot! Yeah, and then... No, that's how you die. Like. Let me know if you want me and Maria to do streams of this on twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Mars Bar and they, and they can be streams that I do at home, not ones from the live streaming room when we do it. Because you guys have been asking me to stream before I get the live streaming room done in the office. So if you want me to stream from home, I can do some by myself or I can do some with Maria. Let me know. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. Alex, what are you doing in the office? It's Saturday and really dark outside. Quite clearly, it's past half past nine. And yeah, it is. It's, it's about quarter to 11 right now. I've just dropped Maria off home because she has to be up for work early tomorrow morning. Let me jump straight to why I have come to the office on a Saturday at this time of evening. Why are you in the new live streaming room on Sunday really late? This is why I haven't covered this room in quite some time, right? And, and the reason's because I'm quite disappointed, embarrassed. I don't think embarrassed is that ashamed. Ashamed is the right word here, boys and girls. Let me do a sweep in three, two, one. Surely from this sweep you should be able to see what I'm pointing at. Yeah, there's still no carpet down. I wanted a carpet in here by the end of this week. Right, this is, this is why this is really, really, really starting to grind my gear. Right, you need to pay attention to this story because I need your opinion on it, right? So, before I went to LA, right, before, bear in mind I went to LA on the 9th of June. It is now the 16th of July. Before I went to LA, a few days before, I had the carpet man come around here, he got out his tape measure, he measured up, he went off, said he was gonna get back to me with a quote. I said to him, don't rush mate, because in two days time, I'm going to LA for a week, right? I went to LA, came back on the 16th of June, one week later. The week when I got back from LA, so the 16th to the 17th, 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 20. Till the 22nd, I just left this room because I just got back from LA, I was jet lagged, I didn't want anything to do with it. On the 24th, I rang up the carpet guy and I said, hey dude, can you give me a price for the carpet? Yeah. He said, oh sorry, I thought you were still away. Uh, I'm gonna get back to you. So I said, that's fine dude, no worries, take your time. As long as you know, we, you know, we get some answers in the next few weeks, that's all good, right? Ring him back, I rang him back a week ago on Saturday. He said, yo Alex, I'm gonna ring you on Monday, right, which was the Monday just gone, with a quote, right? I had no call, so I rung him at the end of Monday and I said, hey dude, you said you were gonna call me on Monday to give me a quote, you haven't phoned me, what's going on? He said, oh sorry Alex, just in a few more days. Okay, that's fine. A few days pass, it gets to Wednesday, right? End of Wednesday, 5.20 p.m., I'm ringing him and I'm like, yo dude, you said you on Monday that you were gonna be calling the next few days. Uh, what's going down? Can I have a quote? We'll give you a call in the next few days, right? That was said to me on Wednesday. I didn't receive a call Thursday. I didn't receive a call Friday. I didn't receive a call Saturday, which is today, and they're closed Sunday. I need to ask your guys' opinion on this. Should I be ringing them on Monday if I don't hear from them all day? Should I be ringing them on Monday or like Tuesday morning and saying, look, you're taking the now, what's going on? What, what, what do I say? This is starting to really grind my gears. I wanted to get the first episode of this room done by the end of July. Like, it's now the 15th, we're halfway through July, I can still pull this off if we get the carpet in soon. I tried to, I tried to keep these little niggly things out the vlog, I know the, the way I do this vlog makes it seem like my life is like, so easy, and I just get up every day and do a little video and it's really fun. I thought I'd come and give you guys an update at the end of this about the actual live streaming room and why I'm not talking about it, because this has been frustrating and niggling at me in the back of my mind. So what would you guys do in this situation? Would you be ringing them and getting a little bit arsy, or would you be ringing them and say, hey, what's going on? Can I have a quote? Like, what, what, am, am I, am I, am I going crazy here? Or is this taking the mick a bit? Delving a little bit deeper here, guys. Some of the things I've had to deal with in 2017, and it may not seem like it, right? In these vlogs, this is what I say. I have had, like, some, some terrible, horrible things happen to me 
in 2017, right? And I know on camera that I met everything look like it's just all perfect and we're just in this little world and we have fun every day, but believe it or not guys, I'm a normal person that lives a normal life just like everybody else. It has its ups and its downs. And I just want to say thank you because this doing this with you guys every day has been my takeaway from some of the things that have, been, that have happened this year. It's been, my, it's been my escape and I am forever grateful. Forever grateful. Thank you so much. Get tweets from you guys and comments from you guys all the time saying, Alex, I love the vlog. Alex, the vlogs have been better than ever recently. Keep it up. Really loving the high energy in the videos. Really loving the positivity in the videos. Keep going. I'm watching every single day and I really appreciate that, guys. But there's, there's always room for improvement. So I'm annoyed about the delays of the main live streaming room, so I'm going to start streaming here by myself and with Maria. If you guys would like that, let me know if you just don't and then we won't do it. If that's something you guys would like, but yeah, we need to know. So if you guys could let us know in the comment section down below, that would be brilliant. Anyway guys, I've got a few hours work ahead of me, so I'm going to end this thing here. We might do some nighttime skateboarding session things tomorrow, but guys, for now, my name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome. Guys, stay awesome, keep smiling. I'll catch you in tomorrow's vlog. Ready for it? The hand's coming. Adios.